Welcome to the teacher video on running grade, roster, and attendance reports in Infinite Campus. In this video, we will learn about the following attendance, grades, and roster reports. Teachers can use the chapter links in this video to jump to specific reports as necessary throughout the school year to receive guidance on a particular report. Teachers will only see reports based on their grade level, so the elementary reports won't display for middle or high school teachers. Let's get started. To access reports, teachers will navigate to Instruction. All reports are listed in the Instruction page under the Reports category. We will begin by taking a look at the Assignment Analysis Report. The Assignment Analysis Report creates a bar chart representing the student's grades for the selected section. It can be generated for one section at a time. Teachers will need to navigate to the appropriate term containing the assignments in order to select an assignment. This will usually be the current term for elementary or middle. High schools will usually have to select term 3 or term 6. It can be exported to PDF. Here is a sample assignment analysis report. Next, we will use the reports breadcrumb in the top right to navigate to the reports menu and select another report. From here, we will select the attendance register report. The attendance register report displays attendance data in grid format by day. This report can be generated for multiple sections at a time. Here, we have two 8th grade math sections selected. Teachers can include attendance data by date range or by term. Here, we will select term. Term 2 has been selected. Although students can be deselected as needed, we will include all students at this time. This report can be exported to PDF, DOCX, or CSV. We will export it to CSV in this example and view it in Google Sheets. Here's a sample attendance register in Google Sheets. The student name and student numbers display to the left and dates across the top with attendance codes. This time, we will use the Select Report dropdown to navigate to the Attendance Summary Report. The Attendance Summary Report summarizes attendance events for all grading periods and includes total absences and tardies. It can be exported one section at a time. Export options include DOCX to open in Google Docs, CSV for viewing in Google Sheets, or PDF. This time, we will select PDF. Here is a sample attendance summary report in PDF format. Teachers will see lots of attendance summary data broken down by excused, unexcused, and exempt absences and tardies. Unknown absences are absences marked by teachers but not processed by attendance clerks, such as cuts. Next, we will use the Select a Report dropdown to navigate to the blank spreadsheet. The blank spreadsheet allows teachers to export a list of students in spreadsheet format with customized columns. If generated as is, the columns will be blank. However, teachers can enter and save criteria to simplify the process next time it is generated. In this example, we are generating this for two 8th grade sections, and we are grouping it by section. As we scroll down, we will change some other formats. The title can be changed. We will call it Weekly Checklist. Next, we will modify the number of columns. We are going to change the columns to 5. If exported as is, all columns will be blank. However, this time, we will customize the column headers. Now that the column headers have been customized, we will select Update. The column headers have been updated and we can tell by a blue dot indicating that they have been updated. We can change the row height from normal to another height. In this case, we will change it to a half inch. Our orientation can also be switched to landscape. We can select any of the styling options listed below. We will identify all of them. Next, we will click Save Options so we can run this report again on another day. We called it Weekly Checklist and we'll click Save. Next time we access this report, we can go to Apply Options and have the option for Weekly Checklist or we can go back to our default report options. Next we can select one of the export options. The most common is CSV so that it can be opened up in Google Sheets. In this example, we will export it to PDF. Here is an example of the blank spreadsheet with customized columns in PDF format. Here's an example of the blank spreadsheet with customized columns in Excel or Google Sheets. Note that this includes the student numbers in a separate column. Next, we will move to the curriculum report from the Select Report dropdown. This report shows all assignments added to the class along with dates and duration. 
Teachers can run this report one section at a time by selecting a section from the Select Section dropdown, and then clicking on the section to generate the report. This report can be generated by DocX to go to Google Docs, PDF, or CSV, which is viewable in Excel or Google Sheets. We will export it to CSV. Here is a sample curriculum report in Google Sheets or Excel. It can be sorted or filtered as needed. Here is a sample curriculum report in PDF format. You will notice it looks a little different than the format sent to CSV. Next, we will move to the flagged assignment report. The flagged assignment report lists all assignments flagged as incomplete, late, missing, and or exempt during the time frame specified. Teachers can run the report by a specific time frame or by term. Although a grading task can be selected from the Include Assignments box, if nothing is selected, all assignments will still populate. Under Assignments to Include, teachers will decide which flagged assignments to include. Under Format Options, teachers can decide to include a page break between each student and score comments, as necessary. Under Context, teachers will select the appropriate term and class and can deselect students if only generating the report for a few students. Teachers can then click Save Options to save the options for next time the report is generated. In this example, we've saved our settings as Quarter Flagged Assignment. Now we see under Apply Options where we can switch to default report options as necessary. This report can be exported to DocX, PDF, or CSV. Here is a sample flagged assignment report in PDF format. Next, we will take a look at the Gradebook Export. The Gradebook Export is a great report to utilize if you want to export all assignments and grades to Google Sheets or Excel. This report can be generated one section at a time for the appropriate term. Elementary and middle schools will select the current term. High schools will need to select the term under Context and select Assignments where the assignments are stored. This is usually Term 3 or Term 6 for semester schools or Term 6 for year-long classes. On the middle school level where high school classes are taught, teachers would select Term 4. This report includes multiple export options. The Grades report allows teachers to export students' posted grades. This may be a good option for middle school teachers at the end of the year to utilize to determine the final grade. It allows teachers to export the term dates and section dates as needed and can be grouped by section or student. In this example, we have an 8th grade math class selected and have pulled in all four quarters. It can be exported to PDF, DocX, or CSV. The missing assignment report displays more data than the flagged assignment report. Teachers must select the term and section that contains the assignments. For elementary and middle school, it will be the current term. For high schools, it will usually be term 3 or 6 for semester schools and term 6 for year-long schools or year-long classes. Middle school teachers teaching high school courses should select term 4. After choosing all preferred options under Assignment Detail and Grade Summary, teachers can uncheck or check any assignments or students as necessary. Because there are so many options to select or deselect, this might be a good one to save options and save the options for use another time. This report can be generated in DocX format or PDF. Another option for teachers is to use the Missing Assignment Messenger instead of the Missing Assignment Report to send emails to students and guardians. This is covered in another video. The Portal Usage Report lists students and parents who have Portal accounts as well as last login and login counts for the last five weeks so teachers can see how often the portal is visited. It does not display what parents or students are clicking on once in the portal, however. Under Context, teachers will select the appropriate term and section. This report can be generated for multiple sections at a time. Under Report Options, there are a few parent account display options that can be selected or deselected. All students should have portal accounts, even if they are not utilized. There are three export options available. In this example, we will select PDF. Here is an example of the portal usage report exported to PDF. Teachers can print rosters in a variety of ways. Perhaps teachers want one roster that includes minimal information, but includes student pictures, and maybe another version with important parent-guardian contact information. This is also a great report to select Save Options and save whatever options are selected so that you don't have to select them each time you want to print this information. We've already got this saved, so we'll come back to that later. If printing an elementary or middle school roster, teachers will need to have the current term of the section selected. Teachers on the high school level are typically on semesters and will need to make sure a term in the current semester is selected. 
As we scroll down, we will find lots of additional options. The effective date defaults to today and must be the date the students are enrolled in the section of the course. So if you have a second semester section selected from above, but the effective date is during first semester, no students will print on your roster. The report option side defines the criteria for identifying the students that will display on the report and the right side shows additional student options. For example, on the left, maybe we want a page break after each section and we want to shade alternate rows. Maybe we would like to display incoming and drop students and we would like for the section number to display. On the right side, we can select different options for different versions of the report. There are lots of options including pictures, pronouns, gender, household information, guardians, counselor name, race ethnicity, date of birth, and program flags as an example. In this example, we have already saved two options. We have saved one where it is called roster report with guardian contact information. And as you can see here, we see the section number, household information, as well as guardian contact information and phone numbers, as well as date of birth. However, if we go to the roster report with student pictures, it does not include household contact information. However, it contains a lot of very basic demographic information for each student. When it comes to generating the report, you can click on the arrow next to generate PDF and send it to either a comma separated value file to view in Google Sheets or a PDF. Teachers can generate their own labels for classes they teach using mailing label format or by student and teacher information as necessary. Under context, first teachers will select the grading period and section where labels will be generated. Then select the type of label. Additional format options will change depending on the type of label. Notice when student teacher is selected, the only additional option under format is to include the teacher name. However, when mailing is selected, users must select how to address the label. Either choose Include Guardian to put the guardian's name on the label or Include Salutation. If using Include Salutation, it will place the student's name at the end, for example, to parent or guardian of Jane Doe. By default, all students are selected, but students can be deselected as needed. While there are multiple format options, if printing to labels, select PDF. Next, we will discuss the section summary report. The section summary report is essentially a way to print your entire gradebook. Teachers can select or deselect any of the options under assignment grades or grading task summary as needed. This report can be generated for multiple sections at once. This is an option for saving a copy of your gradebook at the end of the year. There are various student sort options. Probably the most common is the default, which is student name. Depending on how lengthy the report is or teacher preference, the orientation can be changed to landscape to get more room from left to right. In addition to student sort options, Infinite Campus allows for various assignment sort options. Shading alternate assignment rows or grading task rows may simplify the readability of the report. Additionally, student instructions may be included, but could make the report lengthy if there are a lot of details on each assignment. By default, all students and assignments are selected. However, students and assignments can be deselected as necessary. The two export options include DOCX, which would go to Google Docs or Word, and the other is PDF, which is the most common and will save a static copy to your Google Drive. This is another great report where you may want to save your options if you find that you're selecting or deselecting a lot of options each time you generate this report. It's a great option for many of the reports available to teachers. The student summary report is an ideal report to print out one page per student for parent-teacher conferences. When you look at the report options, you'll see that the first two options are summary, but the third option is detail and allows you to print a lot of details per student. In this example, we have both eighth grade mathematics classes selected, but we can select more as needed. As I scroll down, there's lots of options to select and it's totally up to you which options you would like selected. In this case, I'm going to check parent guardian signature and attendance summary to include that information. I do not need exempt assignments. I will hide those. And we could always include comments as necessary. This is also an ideal report to click save options. 
so that next time you don't have to select those options from scratch. Rather, you can go to Apply Options and select your parent-teacher conference student summary report rather than the default options. When you generate the report, click on the arrow. It can be generated by .doc to go into a Google Doc or by PDF. Now we will briefly point out some reports available to elementary schools only. The two JCPS teacher reports are available to elementary homeroom teachers to locate missing grades. The one labeled ELEM is for the regular elementary schools and the TRAD is for the four traditional elementary schools. Additionally, homeroom teachers can utilize the elementary report card report to print report cards for their classes. Secondary teachers cannot generate elementary report card report and special area teachers cannot generate the elementary report card report. The next few pages outline the report export options for various reports. As you'll see here, this is an overview of the report export options for the assignment analysis, attendance register, attendance summary, blank spreadsheet, elementary report card, flagged assignment, gradebook export, and the grades report. Finishing up, as you can see, the most common export options are CSV, PDF, and DOCX. These are the export options for the two teacher missing grades reports, the missing assignment reports, portal usage, report card, roster label, roster report, and the section and student summary. Thank you. This concludes the video on running teacher reports in Infinite Campus. Please see our digital innovation channel for more great videos.